Now look at this, Donna Kebab. I want to find out what meat is in it because you can't really tell, it's just shavings. Quite bready. I don't know. Let's ask the kebab shops. They're selling them, so they should know what's in them. So every time I order a, a Donna Kebab, would it be lamb, do you think? If you buy it from me, yes. And if I buy it from other people? I don't know. Right, I'm at the place where I'm going to finally find out what is the meat that's in my Donna kebab. How are you doing? I'm Jim. Hi, Dominic, Johnny, nice to meet you. Sorry. Veli's kebabs in Staffordshire make a whopping 50 tonnes of Donna a week, supplying kebab shops all over the UK. Let's see what they put in theirs. I might bring my shoes from outside and go through that. That's brilliant. So I can see already it says lamb. Yeah, lamb trim. This has come off one of the big four supermarkets. They trim the meat up, make it aesthetically pleasing for the customer. Yeah. And the trimmings that you get left over, we get coming in. Well, that's a nice bit of meat there, yeah. isn't it? A lot of people think a kebab or a doner kebab has all sorts of meats in it. If it's labelled up as doner, which everybody associates with what's on a spit, should be 100% lamb. There are companies out there that are labelling up kebabs and they're containing beef and chicken. And there has been instances of pork, which, right. you know, for the Muslim community is a big no-no. Proof's in the pudding. Yep. I'd like to see how oh, it's made. Come on, then. I'm going to show you. Push it in. Green button. Goodbye. <laughs> As the meat goes up as well, they're putting ingredients in. Yeah. We'll put a little bit of this in. What's that? This is um, textured soya protein. So it's just like a bit of a bulking to keep the price down. We put one bucket of it in. Uh, so there's the mince coming out, minced lamb. Right, in here, you've got a bit of onion powder and you've got some salt. Without salt, you're not going to be able to make the kebab. Why? What does the salt do? It takes the salt-soluble protein out of the meat and helps to make the emulsification. Otherwise, when they're cutting the kebab, it's just going to come away in little, tiny little pieces and you're not going to get them those nice long strips. By the time this machine is finished with it, this kebab mix has got in it 85% lamb, 5% bulker, 5% rusk and 5% seasoning and salt. That's all right. Yeah. Just let it release. And you got to press it. You know, and you it. spin it as well? Yeah, you can spin it yourself when, when you do it. Lamb skin? Yeah, from the breast. I had no idea. Basically, hold the kebab. This binds the kebab together. So Veli's donors only use lamb. But can the same be said for all kebabs on the high street? Time for a forensic spot check. Right, they say it's all lamb. We're going to send nine doner kebabs that claim to be lamb to a DNA testing lab to establish exactly what's in our doners. What kind of species do you look for, by the way? Beef, pork, lamb, chicken, donkey, goat and horse. We'll find out later on.